guys, this is Garrett Kramer coming to you from uh, the East Coast, Pennsylvania to be exact. Um, I ride for a community bikes and boards. The two tone Megalodon. This is a version 2 for 2012. Anton Miliati made it of uh, two tone skateboards. Coming in at 38.5 uh, inches by 9.8 width. Uh, wheelbase is at 28 and 29 inches. I have it on the inner wheelbase currently. And you can also go out to 29 if you're going to be doing speed. Um, got it set up on caliber 44s, 76 8 inch smoothies. And uh, you can see I repainted the bottom. The graphic was getting a little bit scratched up, so I uh, I got bored one night and I just sanded it all down and repainted it purple because that's the only spray paint I had. Um, bushing set up, I got a. 90A Venom back, cupped washer, 87A flat washer, uh, 87A cupped bottom, and then 85A, so I'm running split barrels. I've um, been riding this for about uh, maybe three months now, and I love it. I use it for everything. I, uh, I've taken it up to 57 miles an hour, my top speed. I've done my biggest stand ups on it, like 40, 50 feet, and it's been pretty durable throughout the lifetime of the board. Um, some pros and cons, I mean, great concave. I think I saw it coming in at 5 8 inch radial, or parabolic cave you could call it. There's no flat in the middle, it's just continuous U. I uh, put a little 3D back here, I don't know what the whole craze is about. I uh, got a little board, put some duct tape and vicious, all that stuff back here. Just Rear toast, uh, rear rear foot stop, and also good for toe sides for kicking out toe side checks. I uh, got a gripped gator, vicious from my front foot, little 98A venom toe stop, some vicious in the back, just for uh, blunt slides back here. Got some writing on here. It says Cream. My last name's Creamer, and it's also Wu Tang song. Um, Wheel wells can accommodate wheels up to, I run 77mm, 78A free rides on here a little bit. When I'm downhilling, I got a 75mm, 78A road rippers. Those work perfectly fine. I usually run 50 calibers, but rode 44 just to try them out, and they worked with the road rippers. No problem with bite. Also, did the Slayers, 82A. 72 millimeters. Borrowed these from a friend. I am seriously impressed with them. They are the most consistent wheel I've ridden. Different pavements. Like, go from perfect, just recently paved pavement to um, something that's super chipped up, got cracks, potholes, everything. Doesn't slide any different. Um, also, ran some uh, ADA 72 millimeter cannibals before they were radiused and probably around 68 millimeters now. Um, these were 77 millimeter 84A strikers. Run these from time to time, still need to core those. And then I got my little Tech DH wheel right here, the 69 millimeter 78A race form. That's probably my favorite, most predictable uh, tech downhill wheel from doing hairpins, speed. That's what I'm going for. Um, now I got a little bearing fireball here. I'm going to replace the bushing with as a toe stop. So this board's nine plies. It's coming in at uh, 99.95 so you're not breaking the bank with this. You're really just staying on the cheaper end. You're supporting a small company. Um, very durable board. I've curved it at maybe 40 cornering. Got a little chip in the front down two plies. Doesn't affect much. Um, little chip over here. I mean it's really not bad. I, I was just trying kick flips because I was feeling gay one day. Um, did some rough measurements with the with the ruler, and I know a lot of people might like taper, but I wasn't really a fan of it. I had an Earthwing belly racer prior to this, and I was not impressed. I uh, only had problems catching my foot on the back wheels whenever I was trying to kick out slides. I I monkey heel, monkey tail a little bit, but um, on this board I've had no problems. I measured a 6.8 inch tail, uh, an inch and a half in front of the trucks on the inner wheelbase. I measured to be 8.5 inches, so that's right here. That's usually where your back foot's going to be unless you have a ginormous stance. 
Um, and then the widest part is where your front foot sitting is 9.8 inches. You can do anything on this board really. Do blunt slides, I do blunt slides. That's probably one of my most common tricks. Uh, like I said, can hit really fast speeds, drifting at speed, no problem. Real basic shape, nothing special here. You don't have a gas pedals, all that gimmicky stuff I don't really buy into. I, uh, I love this. The sharp edges, which wear down over time, so you're comfortable on them. I mean, I've never had any problems with them. Um, let's see. The only problems I've found with this is I came off of uh, riding mainly drop decks. I had the Rain Nemesis. 10 inches, it was like 10 and a quarter inches wide by 39 long. I was obsessed with this board, it's all I rode. So uh, when that cracked, cracked on the neck a little bit, I bought a lamb chop uh, the week before I got this. And I rode the lamb chop for maybe a month before standing on this. And I downhilled it, I was like, okay, it's a nice board and everything. But then when I started riding it seriously, I rode it for two, three months straight and I was obsessed with this thing. I sold my lamb chop two weeks ago, I haven't ridden it in I don't know how long. Um, also have a rain vendetta and a cruiser, two-tone pig pen, which I wanted a free ride. And I've got to say, all I use is the Megalodon and the pig pen. It, they're just the most fun boards I've been on. Use this cruising through town, really just doing screw around stuff. Got some PDA Spitfires on there so you can still slide it nice and smooth. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, maybe another con is you can't run uh, any smaller wheelbases, so if you're feeling trendy, sucks for you, you're going to have to ride a bigger wheelbase. Um, recommended setup, probably ride an uh, eighth inch riser always, just to be safe. You can run 50, 44 cals. I've run, depending on your bushing setup, you can run up to 77mm offset free rod wheels or 75mm wide contact patch wheels. I want to say this is a 58mm wide, just a guess right there. Um, but yeah, depending on your bushing setup, you can run 44, 50, whatever you want. Wheel wells are super accommodating. I, You can see I sanded these, that's just the paint. I wasn't sanding down at all, so really accommodating. I know that was a worry for people on the first version of the Megalodon. But yeah, I'll have a solo edit out in maybe a week or two and look forward to that. Also, I was filming with a Red Epic two weeks ago, so look out for that video. That was pretty sick. So, I think I covered everything. Check out Community Bikes and Boards in Philadelphia, right off of South Street. You always wear a helmet, and if you have any questions about this board, about comparable boards, just comment and I'll help you out.